Hello everyone and welcome to Code Corp and welcome to another video. Uh, so as you already know, we have created this channel for the Java related help for the backend people. So uh, we have already created some of the playlists. You can check them out. And uh, uh, today's topic is migration. So the problem statement is uh, basically in our organization, our bigger organizations, we have multiple projects or multiple modules which are like uh, getting old uh, in technology wise. So suppose uh, one of your module is using Java 8 and uh, few of the new the newer teams or the i, I would say like uh, some other teams are using java 17 so that uh, there is a miscommunication between those two services and all so to avoid this uh, situation we need to migrate our older version or i would say our older java version spring boot version or any kind of technology we need to migrate that to the latest version so uh, in my company also uh, i was doing one of this kind of jira so i thought let's create a video about this like what are the challenges i was facing and how it is done, what are the tools that we are going to use for that migration. So firstly, as I have already told you about the problem statement, that is like we need to migrate from older technologies to newer because we need to cope up uh, with like newer technologies and newer uh, versions or I would say like newer upgradations. Okay, so everyone wants our application to be run on the latest technology and latest uh, tools and all. So for that, we need to do migrate. So, uh, so one of the uh, one of the way of doing migration is like you you can go to each of your uh, java class and do the changes as per the latest packages modifications and all so so that is the way of doing migration of your project and the other way of doing migration is uh, like you can use any other tool which are available i will tell you like what i used in my project so for this uh, here you can see uh, manual uh, migration requires a lot of efforts because you need to go each of the java files and then do the changes and all okay but uh, in auto migration uh, you just need to add a plugin and run that plugin and that will do all the refactoring and all for you so you don't have to do multiple changes manually although you have to do some of the changes manually but your work 80% uh, of 80-90% of your work is done with this auto migration tool so what uh, technologies that is currently in the market for this migration that is open rewrite that is wi being widely used it is uh, used by netflix amazon or i would say like multiple giant technologies uh, organizations uh, they are using this technology to migrate from older to newer version what is open rewrite uh, let me tell you about this so for that you need to go to this link docs.openrewrite.org so here you will be seeing uh, there are multiple kind of recipes Recipes is uh, recipes is nothing. It's just a uh, module through uh, using which you are gonna migrate your application. So Open Rewrite is a open source tool for now. So what they are doing, they are creating their own uh, recipes and all. And you just need to add that recipe in your plugin, and you need to re just run that plugin, and it will do all the changes for you. So uh, what are the technologies that it uh, it is supporting? So I have done it in my company uh, for Java upgradation JDK. Uh, we migrated from JDK 11 to JDK 17, and uh, uh, we migrated from Spring Boot 2.7 to 3.2.1. So uh, yeah, that it that is it. So other than that, you can also have a look uh, like how it is happening. Everything you can look at this documentation like how to do this and all. So everything can be done from here. And uh, like technology wise, uh, whichever technology you are working from Node.js or anything, you can go in here. And for me, I'll select, uh, I'll look for Java here. You can see Java is here. And in that one, uh, I will choose, uh, I'll go inside Java. And here you can see, I'll choose uh, Spring Migration. And uh, inside Spring, uh, I'll go. Uh, so these are all dependencies. You can add a Spring configuration properties and all. So these are all recipes available. So here uh, you can see uh, I can go to here Spring 3.x. So currently in this video I'll tell you like how can I migrate from one Spring 2.2.2 uh, project to Spring the latest version of Spring Boot. Okay. So what I used is I went here and here you can see migrate to uh, uh, migrate to Spring 3.2. So generally uh, I used this dependency uh, this uh, recipe. So here you can see uh, whichever build tool you are using, uh, you are using uh, Gradle, then you have to follow these steps. And if you are using Maven, then you have to follow these steps. Okay, you need to add this plugin in your and just run this command. Or I can show you uh, other way of doing it. So firstly, uh, what you need to do, just go to my GitHub page and uh, on my GitHub page, uh, you'll be able to see this one of the application that I forked from this Java Techie. And uh, here you can go to it. And after you going, 
uh, you'll be able to see one of the project is there that I, I have added some test cases in this and this project was already built. So I have did some changes uh, at the database uh, properties and all only that changes I did. So you can go here and you can clone this repository. So once you'll be able to clone, uh, it will look like this in your IntelliJ. So here you can see uh, I have cloned this and uh, these files I have changed. Currently I have committed all the changes so you don't need to worry about anything. So here you can see uh, this file I have updated as per my uh, DB. So here I have created this and uh, these are my, all my changes that are not available on that main repo. So currently in this repo these changes are available that I have just shown you. So you can go here and uh, uh, I would say like clone this repository and just try to run it. Okay. So currently uh, if you will go here and uh, this project is using java 8 so it will migrate from java 8 to java 17 also to the latest java version uh, i would say on to the, uh, to java 17 also so here you can see you can go to this settings option here in the corner and uh, you have to go to the project structure and just select the sdk version here so currently uh, uh, 17 java 17 is also there in my system and uh, as you will 1.8 i have installed for this particular project otherwise uh, if you will directly try to run it and java 8 is not in your system then it will throw error okay so just go here and change the project structure and add java 18 from here and download it and add it at jdk here and after that uh, you can go into maven lifecycle and run maven clean command so once you will be able to run i am not using terminal because currently in my terminal i have uh, java version uh, 17 so i am not using it i am using it through intellij and in intellij in project structure i have set that to java it. otherwise i can also write maven clean command here so maven clean will work but maven clean install will not work it will throw uh jdk related error maven clean install i will do if then you you can see i'll be getting these errors uh you can see cannot access com this this class is not available in that jdk in the latest jdk because jdk compiler does not support this so this is the error that is coming due to jdk so to resolve this you can go to this product structure and add jdk uh, as you will 18 or jdk 18 here anything after that, you can run Maven clean from here and it will be able to run. You can clean Maven clean a test from here and you can see our all the tests will pass. So here you can see they are passing and after that you can run Maven clean install. So here it will add all the properties and run the tests again. So here you can see our all the tests are passing and application is building successfully. Just keep in mind like before running any open rewrite recipe, your project should build. Otherwise, uh, it will not run the recipe. Okay. So to run the recipe, you need to go in here and uh, select this plugin. So just copy this plugin from here and uh, go to your POM. And uh, here uh, you'll be able to see this plugin section here also. So just add that plugin here. Okay. And if I will add it here and do the Maven reload from here, Maven changes reload. So you will be able to see one of the things here in plugins, you'll be able to see this open rewrite. Before this, uh, Maven reload, you will not be able to see this. So once rewrite is there, you can just click on this dry run. What it will do, uh, it will run this particular recipe. Okay, so what is inside this recipe? The open rewrite people are having all the code written to changes your, uh, to do the changes in your POM, in your tests, everywhere. All the changes will be done with this module, with the help of this module. So they'll do it uh, using this. Okay. So just, uh, you, you can also uh, test the changes. Uh, you can click on this dry run part and it will run a recipe in uh, like uh, dry run mode and it will create a patch file that will tell you like what are all the changes that this recipe is going to do in your code base. So let me run this dry run here. So it will take uh, time to uh, like uh, uh, analyze all your projects, refactoring all your poems and all everything. Uh, it will take a few seconds. So let's wait how much time it takes. So what it is doing now, uh, it is checking all the files that need to be changed and upon which the recipe need to be applied and what are the changes that need to make. Okay. So here, uh, as our project is very little, so it is uh, showing only few, it has, the recipe has run in only few seconds. But otherwise, uh, when I was doing in my company or in my our project, in my organization, so uh, uh, during this part only, during this dry run, it was taking a lot of time because we were having multiple classes and it was a bigger application. So we have to wait for around five to 10 minutes to run this rewrite patch, to, uh, to run this only dry run. Okay, so you can see uh, it is telling us the uh, target folder where this rewrite patch file is getting created. So once you'll go inside this target folder and here you'll be able to go inside this rewrite and just see this file, rewrite patch is there. And once you will be opening this, uh, you'll be able to see like, why, what are the changes this uh, 
recipe go is going to do to your system so you can see uh, in the pom parent pom what it is going to do it's going to remove this parent 2.2 and it is it is going to upgrade your spring boot to 3.2.1 and also for your java uh, version it from 1.8 it is going to upgrade it to java 17 so these uh, two changes are there in your pom and then uh, in this dependencies also uh, mysql connector has been upgraded to this artifact mysql connector j with this name it has been upgraded and currently this uh, group id has also been changed to com.mysql earlier it was mysql so this change is also there and uh, here you can see spring boot started test so currently uh, it is not there this exclusion uh, they have removed and for mockito uh, they have added some changes as well so these are all the changes uh, that are there in form now let's move toward the java so what it has done uh, it has removed all this java, java x persistence entity annotation so java x uh, as you might already aware of like java x has been replaced with jakarta it has been renamed with jakarta so you don't need to go inside this uh, uh, particular file what is the file name uh, let me tell you this product dot java you don't need to go inside this file and do these changes manually that will be already done by this so these imports has been replaced with these imports okay and these uh, in this file and here is some other changes in this particular product controller file so here you can see java uh, this import uh, this import mock to inject mocks has been replaced with these mock beans and all okay so we'll do these changes uh, we'll run this and we'll refactor like uh, whatever we need to do manually we'll look at this so currently uh, you know that our application is running our tests are running let's try to run the open rewrite and fix our changes so currently uh, we can see here i will go to this commit section so i can see there is no file has been changed currently only poms changes are there that is because i have added that plugin here so let's see how many files changes and what are the changes they suggested and we'll do that okay so just run this rewrite run So let's wait let's see how much time it's gonna take again uh, because this time uh, we are running it actually so it will do the changes directly it will not ask uh, it will not create any form file so as you can see our changes has been done so this resolving maven resolving dependency is running you can see here it is running and let's see after this if uh, we have to do some changes or will it work auto automatically uh, in our project uh, i had to do a lot of changes manually but most of the task was already done by open rewrite so if I will see here again in the commit section, I'll be able to see three files have been changed. Here you can see uh, in pom.xml, we have done some changes. These changes has been done. Java 18 to Java 17, your version has been upgraded. Your Spring Boot version has also been upgraded to 3.2.9 from 2.2.4 release to 3.2.9. And other changes are there. Your driver has been renamed also because this was done. It is in the latest spring boot version and uh, yeah that's it this exclusion is not required so it has been removed from here and in product.java as you are able to see these things has been replaced with this one and in product controller.test in mocks uh, we have uh, these changes as well so let's uh, try to run our application for now let's see how it is how it's going uh, so firstly i'll try to again i'll do the maven clean in life cycle i'll do the maven clean once so cleaning is done let's run our test is whether they're gonna run okay we are getting one issue here so our java version has been upgraded so we need to go here in project structure that's why this issue is coming i think we need to go over project structure and we need to change the java version so let's see mbn so now our java version has been upgraded to 17 so you can use the command line as well mbn clean install for now let's skip test so the skip test is working fine let's try to run clean install with test or let's run maven clean test
so we are having some issues here currently our one error is coming we need to check so let's see uh what's the issue that it is throwing uh application context has not started i think what's the reason sql dialect uh, unable to load hibernate sql dialect so i think it is not available in the latest spring version this might has been changed so what is the latest sql dialect uh let me google this so, uh, sql dialect version with the uh, spring boot 3.2.1 Nine. Uh, got it uh it is sql dialect 8 that it's been upgraded to 8 for now so let's try to run these tests again after updating that to 8 maven clean test let's run this and here i think most probably a test should run now so allow so yeah all the test case has been passed and they are running perfectly fine let's try to run our application so let me run it and uh, if we, i will run this then so yeah, uh, application is running. Uh, let's fetch any of the product with ID. Here I have typed ID2 and I'm fetching it. Okay, I'm able to get the ID2, uh, product with ID2. And here if I want to get all the products, then I must get uh, the list of all the products that we do have in database, one laptop, two smartphone, at one, etc. So that is the there in our database also. In this table, you can see this is the data we are having. So our uh, I have upgraded this application in front of you uh, just uh, by following all the steps. Uh, putting uh, open red plugin in pom.xml by running dry patch dry run and then uh, uh, run actually and do the changes and solve whatever the compilation error were there and now we have successfully migrated to spring 3.2.9 and java version also has been upgraded to java 8 to java 17 so let's check what are the changes that uh, we have done in this particular uh, video in our application so first of all we have upgraded this uh, we have changed this property of dialect that was causing the issue in test and in pom uh, these all the changes were done by open rewrite this uh, java version has been upgraded to 7 and this uh, spring boot version has been changed to 3.2.9 and all other changes has been done these are all changes done by open rewrite etc so for uh, as it is a very small project so these changes might look like uh, this is very uh, less number of changes you can do those manually but uh, just try to imagine like when you have like lots of classes like hundred of classes you have and uh, two three pom xmls you are using so in that case open right will help you very much because i was as i told you i am using it in my current project in my company and uh, we have gone through this uh tool and it helped us a lot so yeah i think that is pretty much everything about this particular video i found this video helpful just drop me a like and subscribe and share this video with you your colleagues, your friends, or whoever is looking for a migration tool that is very effective, uh, or maybe in your company, then you can go with openly, right? And they can watch this tutorial. So I think that's it. Uh, I'll meet you in the next video. Just keep watching, keep learning and subscribe code cop. Thank you. That's it.